Hi, I'm Alan Huot from Wildlife Control Supplies, and I'd like to show you today the WCS Culvert Bear Trap. Um, it's 8 feet long, 36 inches in diameter, and it has a dual locking counterbalance door. Unlike some of the other bear traps you may have seen that are using a guillotine door, uh, we kind of evolved to a counterbalance door. They're safer, uh, both for animals and not targets. Um, this is the baiting end of the trap, if you will. Um, you can see we're using perforated sheet steel on both ends of the trap um, for increased airflow. Um, we were asked for that specifically by the uh, Connecticut DEP. Uh, we got some valuable input from them. They're using a couple of our traps as well as uh, some other states. Um, so we went to a, a more uh, perforated sheet steel uh, to accomplish that airflow. Um, as you can see, it's got a bait door on this end. It opens up and your bait cage is inside and we'll show you a little bit more of that uh, in a moment. Um, the other thing you might notice are the ports on the end. Uh, they are spaced throughout the panel for syringe poles or observation. Again, from input that we received, um, they wanted more access. Um, and with that, uh, let's move around to another side of the trap and I'll show you some more features. So I'd like to point out some other uh, features of the Culver Bear Trap. Um, it comes on a heavy duty CarMate trailer. Um, also with four stabilizers, one on each corner in case you want to locate the trap on uneven ground. It also comes with a lockable toolbox for any of the components or other additional items, a pair of pliers, whatever uh, you may have on site that you'd like to keep secure. And we've also um, added some access holes or ports along the upper third of the uh, pipe, if you've noticed, for syringe poles. And now moving down here a little bit, I'm down to the business end of the trap. This is the ramp that the bear would actually walk up. And there are two pins that release it. Um, so I'm going to pull this one and then walk around and you just lower the ramp and as you can see it comes standard with a piece of plywood mounted to the ramp so that the bear can easily walk up and into the trap, not walking on wire mesh. Now I've gone ahead and opened the door to the trap and uh, one of the things you might want to notice is the dual locks, one on each side as the door closes. They're going to lock onto these pins and the bear will not be able to escape. What I'm giving you here is a bear's eye view of the interior of the trap. And you can see all the way to the rear is the bait cage. That's where you're gonna place your attractive bait, whatever your choice is, um, that the bear is gonna somewhat violently pull on and fire the trap. Now let me walk around to the back of the trap and show you how that's gonna work. So your bear is gonna enter the front of the trap, and approach the bait cage, and as you can see, the bait would be hanging in this cage here, and fire the trap, and that's it. Your bear is safely contained within the confines of the WCS bear trap. Okay, so let's pretend we've caught a bear, we've transported it, and we want to relocate it safely, release it. Um, the first thing you do with this trap is disengage one of the locks on the side of the door which I've done here, and a pin is supplied for that purpose. So it's disengaged. Now I'm going to go to the back of the trap and show you how we open the door and safely release the bear. Okay, now I've come around to the rear of the trap, and I'm going to actually release the bear that we've got inside the culvert trap. You can see that I've attached a cable to the cross arms of the trap, and it runs all the way to the back of the trap. And you'll see more on that in a minute. Remember that I disengaged one of the locks on the door and I can release the second lock on the door from the rear of the trap with this handle here. Okay, so if I disengage the lock and at the same time pull back on this cable, I can release that bear. And that's the way it looks. A bear is going to run out. Um, it doesn't need to be open any more than that. Um, and you're all the way to the rear of the trap, not on top of the trap or in front of the trap when releasing the bear, as is common with some of the other traps on the market. 